Hey, welcome back to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. We're over here at Running Rapid Antiques with Sharon. How are you doing, Sharon? Great. Thanks for taking the interview with me. You're welcome. Can you tell the viewers a little bit about your place? Uh, we started about four years ago, a friend of mine, uh, Sandy Westcott and myself. Uh, we This is our second location. We have gotten bigger and have a lot more dealers in this shop where we are now, which is on Fairground Avenue and we're right next to the piggly wiggly grocery store it looks like you, go ahead the running rabbit right by pig <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, but we look like you have some great uh, vendors in here it looks like you have some antique uh, vendors and you have some vintage all kinds yes we do it's just a little bit of of everything that um, anybody that comes in can go from uh, primitives to older antiques to birthday cards to you name it we've probably got it so what got you into the uh the junkin business or the or the or the vintage business or the antique business okay well my hu husband and i had a store at one point in stanbury missouri and, but i had a full-time job and then when we moved to hickensville we were in another we had a booth and a store and then uh so did sandy in this one store and we decided he wanted to out so we took the store over, took the business over, and we've expanded it now. It's really crazy in how, uh, with the economy um, being the way it has been, the last, what I've been noticing, I've been immersed in this business for the last five years, how this business actually spikes up when the economy goes down a little bit. Yes, it does. Um, people still have a love for the primitives, and we hear a lot of comments. Well, just this morning, somebody said they'd love to come in because they see things that their grandmothers had and, and you know, their grandfathers, and it's just, it's nice we get a, a kick out of it because we like to see people happy when they leave and we really try to um cater to everybody what i like coming into stores like yours is that i'm coming in and then i'm buying something that i absolutely had to have that i didn't know i had to have <laughs> yeah, that's what we hear <laughs> so yesterday a lady said uh, she had it, the whole counter full and she said i was supposed to stop her and i said well we had below the counter we could put her things too also <laughs> so she could keep shopping <laughs> That's awesome. So, so what's your favorite thing? Uh, uh, are you a collector of anything, one thing? or Not anything in particular. I just, uh, no, not really. Okay. Just like I like it all, and we can't have it all. You know, so. that, well, that's a good business owner, because right? you can't get attached to anything. You, everything goes. Right. <laughs> everything will have a, a price tag on it. Right. It so how many vendors do you have here? We have uh, probably 55. Wow. So how many square feet is that? I'm not sure. not sure. Sorry. Well, 55. That's it's quite quite a few. Um, well, one thing that I uh, that our our one of our taglines on our radio show, I don't know if you know it, it's a uh, uh, Jed Clampett. Woo doggies! <laughs> Can you give me woo doggies? Woo doggies! <laughs> that's awesome. You did great. So real quick, uh, exactly where are you located again here in Hickensville? We're on uh, Fairground Avenue. Um, I think it's 508 Fairground Avenue, and. You can't miss us. We're right by the Piggly Wiggly grocery store. Very good. Now, do you have a Facebook page? Yes. And what's that? It's it's under Running Rabbit Antiques and General Store. Oh, a General Store. I forgot to add the General Store. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, hey, guys, uh, um, thank you for tuning in to Junk in My Trunk Road Show and visit Higginsville. We'll be right back. Hey, this is Darren with Junk in My Trunk Road Show. If you're looking for a great used car, don't forget to go see Fat Boy Motor Company, located in Independence, Missouri, 300 West 24 Highway, 816-836-8318. Ask for Reggie. Reggie's been in the car business since 1993 and has tons of satisfied customers. You will not be disappointed if you go see Fat Boy Motor Company. They're open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Hey, welcome back to the Junk in My Trunk Roadshow. We're over here with Rebecca from Golden to Cash. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, guys. How are you? Oh, we're great. And what a great place, Golden to Cash. Tell the listeners where you're located. 
Uh, we are at 7819 North Oak Traffic Way. And you can also visit us on the website, www.gold, the letter N, number two, cash, kc.com. Very good. Um, we appreciate you uh, being our sponsor, and um, you are definitely big junk fan. mafia approved. And I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's give the listeners a woo doggies. Are you ready? Ready. Woo, woo doggies! doggies. <laughs> Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. We're over here in Independence at Affordable Tie and Auto Center uh, with Ricky. How you doing, Ricky? I'm good. How you doing? Hey, man, we appreciate you coming on the, uh, the show and also being a sponsor of our of the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. Mm -hmm. And when we're out there road tripping around, we want to make sure uh, uh, you're riding around in the, in the proper tires. And you, you have some really good deal on new tires, but you also get a good deal on used tires, We're correct? That's correct, yeah. We have quite a few used tires in stock. We have anywhere from 400 to 600 used ones at all times and then on the new ones we can get all of those we have access to over 53 different brands um, and all of those we can get same day so if you call in the morning we can get them in the afternoon that is very good um, so when someone's looking at uh, possibly getting a used tire just to uh, kind of a, uh, to carry you over uh, what uh, what are they looking for when they come over uh, uh, for a used tire um, typically someone's just wanting something that's going to get them by and it's going to be a cheaper price point mm -hmm. um, our used ones start out at about thirty dollars and that includes installed on the car whereas a used one most times you're going to be looking more closer to a hundred just to start off with so really it's it's the price is the benefit the price and, and to kind of keep you going now you're located exactly over here in Independence off of 24 highway correct we're a mile west of 291 and we're about let's see about three-quarter miles from Nolan Road okay. so we're right in between Nolan Road and 291 right on 24 highway and you also do uh, auto repair as well that is correct. Yeah, we do light auto repair. We don't do engine and transmission swaps, any of the big stuff, but we do brakes, suspension, alternator starters, pretty much all your major me uh, mechanical components. Now, you're a young business owner, young entrepreneur, you and your wife, uh, Robin. Uh, what a, what a uh, great story. Um, so how did you guys get, get started and to have a, a business like this? Um, we actually started, let's see, back in 2009, we opened our first car dealership, um, and we did that for a while. Um, just something that I've always wanted to do. Ever since I was 16, I wanted to own my own business. So we've been wanting to do it for a long time, and then we've we've taken steps to get us in this position. So just really just ambitious, I guess. <laughs> That's awesome. So you really you guys really stand out. You're very uh, 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 young entrepreneurs and making it happen. Um, so on, on tires, uh, what's the average average length that a tire lasts? Is it is it is it thirty thousand? Is it twenty thousand? Or is there certain tires have certain certain ones? Or yeah, it really depends on the name brand and the quality of tire that you're wanting to get. Um, typically, they last about thirty to forty thousand for an entry price range tire, and then they go all the way up to Michelin and Goodyear have some that last eighty or ninety thousand miles. Okay. Obviously, those cost significantly more, but for the most part, if you rotate them every couple oil changes, keep an eye on them. Make sure they're properly inflated. Most of them will last you about 40,000. And we talk a lot about on our road show about um, recycle, reuse, being green. What, what do you do with some of the used tires once they're no, no good anymore? We actually have a person that comes and picks them up that is an authorized tire recycler and then they take them and process them. They do different things with them. Some people cut them up and then they make them into like playground mulch and they actually use them for asphalt in the roads now too on some of the some of the different communities use that or they take and make them into tire bales and some people actually take those and like use them for insulation and stuff like for housing so they use them for pretty much everything on the used tires yeah just about everything I actually I was uh, over at a thrift shop or a uh, vintage shop the other day and some uh, person was making watches out of the uh, uh, watch bands out of the tires really that's pretty cool yeah we've seen uh, a lot of people do stuff with like tire swings make them into like an actual horse and then uh, we've actually got a couple things on our Facebook page where people taking the old tires and made them into like an alligator uh -huh. so they actually make like art out of them so I mean there's there's a lot of cool things that you can do with some junk tires now on Facebook how, uh, what, what's your uh, Facebook fan page it is affordable tire auto that's it just affordable tire auto at Facebook so okay and how about how about a telephone number uh, telephone number is going to be 816-886-6579 very good. Now we have a tagline on our radio show and road show. I don't know if you know what it is, but it's called uh, Woo Doggies. Can you give me Woo Doggies? Yeah. Woo Doggy. <laughs>
Awesome, man. Um, right. hey, we appreciate you coming on the Junk of My Trunk Road Show. Hey, guys, you've been listening to the Junk of My Trunk Road Show, and we'll be right back. The Surplus Exchange, Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. A must-go-see. By the way, this is Mr. Ed from the Junk of, Junk of My Drunk Road Show. The Surplus Exchange is located at 518 Santa Fe. They're open Tuesday through Saturday from 9 to 5. They have computers, office equipment, furniture, and much, much more. Get down, check them out. They're open 9 to 5, 518 Santa Fe. Go there. Hey, this is Rebecca with Golden to Cash, the gold lady. We are located at 7819 North Oak Traffic Way in Kansas City, Missouri. You can look for our Facebook page, gold, the letter N, number two, cash. And if you see the gold mobile out, take a picture, post it on Facebook and check in, and you could enter to be a winner of a one ounce gold piece will be given away. Look for details. Come by and see us for any of your precious metal needs, or give us a call at 816-GOT-GOLD. Hey, welcome back to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. We're over here at Fresh Picked Antiques over here in Dearborn with uh, Rachel and Brian. How you guys doing? Good. Good. Awesome. Hey, Brian, um, can you tell the listeners and the viewers a little bit about Fresh Picked Antiques? We open in March. Uh, we try to have a good collection of antiques that will be things that people can take to their home, decorate their home, and keep the heritage of the antiques and the history going. Um, so... Uh, here in Dearborn, um, uh, for number one, uh, from coming out of Kansas City, where is it located at? North of Platte City, you're going to go approximately six miles, take the Dearborn exit, turn right, follow us right into downtown historic Dearborn. What I like about um, some of your antiques and, and, and um, the things you have here, um, I don't see a lot of uh, painted furniture and things like that. Rachel, what do you think about that? No, we like to keep everything in its original condition, um, no painting. Um, if it comes in here already painted, of course, it's that way, but um, we like to keep it pretty much how we find it, just clean it up. How you find it. Now, do you guys have vendors in here, or is this primarily your collection? Um, we About 90% of this is ours. Um, we do take stuff on consignment, and then we have three booths in the back um, that we rent out. We only have one rented right now. We actually have two available for rent right now. Uh, Brian, it's a really cool location um, here in town, and can you tell me a little bit about the building itself? The building was built in 1896, started out as a hotel, um, then we had a bank in here, um, First State Bank was in here, which is now Platte Valley Bank. Um, we've had other people in here, for, if you're familiar, if you're older like me, you remember the TV show Dallas. Jim Davis, who was on TV show Dallas, his folks actually had a business in the east end of our building back in the early 1900s. Oh, that's awesome. That's pretty That's pretty cool. It has a lot of history to it uh, as well. Now, um, what things, when you guys are out picking around, Rachel, what, what are the things you guys are looking for when you're out picking? Anything and everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, if you know, we look just things that are unique, um, you don't see every day. Um, try to find stuff as you know in good condition, um, but just mainly we try to stay with that unique and one of a kind type things. That's very cool. So you get to spend some time uh, together um, out, out, and I think that's a lot of fun too as well. Yeah, we like enjoy that. One thing that we really enjoy is we have a um, a tablet that we keep here, and customers come in and they say, "Hey, you know what? I'm building a new house. I'm looking for this unique piece." Can you find that for me? We keep that list. When we go out, we try to fulfill those customers' needs for them. Give them a call. Say, hey, we found this. It's this price. Are you interested in it? And try to take care of their needs in that fashion as well. That is very cool. Now, when you're down here, and uh, this is considered downtown Dearborn, correct? Yeah, downtown Dearborn. Um, if you, We've got a old-fashioned ice cream shop next door. Mm -hmm. We've got one of the best home-cooked meals that you can get in Cook's Cafe next, right behind us. Um, another antique store here in town, so there's plenty to do when you get here. That's very cool, and it's not very far from Weston. Now, uh, Weston, Missouri is just right around the corner from Platte City. Now, with the holidays coming up, is there any special events that go on down, down here? 
We actually um, are trying to bring in antiques for the holidays, um, a few crafty ideas, you know, to add in for the holidays. Another thing that we've done this year at our customer's request is we've set up a layaway program. So if you know the holidays are coming up, you got a gift idea that's in our shop that you're interested in, we've got a payment plan that you can take care of it to make it not such a large expense all at one time. Oh, that is very cool. Um, but you have a lot of cool pieces here. Um, do you find that furniture uh, is one of the things that moves the fastest? No. <laughs> um, it, it, it depends. Um, certain furniture we brought in was gone before we even opened. Um, and then others that I thought would move fast didn't. Um, end tables, however, seem to be the number one seller around here. Okay. Um, and then other than that, it's a pretty random thing as far as what is popular. But end tables have been our number one. So. <laughs> that is very cool. So uh, how did you uh, guys come up with the name? Actually, we were sitting and we were talking and um, picking is what we enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. We and it's a it's kind of a family affair. Rachel was raised from uh, a car seat, you know, going to auctions and picking items and things of that nature. So it just automatically came to it. That is awesome. It's a, uh, it's a great name. I like it. Kind of reminds you of a farmer's market almost. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. I mean, and, and we're, you know, we're country people, you know, we, in, we enjoy the idea of, you know, picking flowers. So picking antiques just came natural. Just came natural. That's we're getting now. Do you uh, you guys have a Facebook page? Do you have what's it, what's your name on Facebook? We're Fresh Picked Antiques on Facebook. Um, we're also on the internet okay. uh, at freshpickedantiques.com, and um, you know we have a phone number. Or anything you know anybody wants any way to contact us. Very good. Well, we appreciate you coming on to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. We do have a tagline on our radio show and our road show. It's called Woo Doggies. Can you guys give me a Woo Doggies? Woo doggies. <laughs> awesome. That was really good. Hey guys, you're listening to Junk in My Trunk Roadshow, and we'll be right back. If you need an honest, reliable mortgage professional here in Kansas City, please call Mike Brown with Alpha Mortgage. We're located in Lee Summit, but we serve Missouri and Kansas. We do FHA, VA, conventional, and USDA financing. So again, if you're looking for a professional, reliable mortgage professional, please call Mike Brown at Alpha Mortgage. 816 Five five four eight two two eight. Hey, welcome back to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. I'm Cousin John, and I'm here today with Evelyn Workentine from the Sabres Thrift Store here in Liberty. They're a new sponsor on our radio show and on the uh, in the Junk Journal. Evelyn, how you doing today? Wonderful. Thanks for asking. And Evelyn, you're all dressed up for Halloween. What's going on here at the Sabres Thrift Store? Well, many people don't know, Halloween is a very important time of year for us here. We believe in having affordable costumes for every budget. So we order in, as you can see behind me, plenty of brand new merchandise. And it's also the best place to combine it with our used items. So you can put together a great costume for all budgets. Great. Yeah, I walked in here here one of the times here just recently to meet with you, and uh, man, I just I looked around. And I was like, man, look at all these great costumes. You know, I mean, this is great. This is one of the best lineups I've seen at any of the stores here that I've that I've seen here north of the river so far. Now, I want to tell tell us a little bit more about the Saber Thrift Stores. You guys have five stores throughout Kansas City, and uh, your website, and just uh, kind of how they can get with you guys. Uh, you guys benefit Big Brothers and Big Sisters. Yes. So tell us all about that. Um, yes, we partner with Big Brothers and Big Sisters here in Kansas. Kansas City. They make several phone calls to people's homes asking for collections and donations. You can also drop them off at any one of our area five stores. Um, those that donations then go to benefit them. We pay them for all those donations. So it's a great source of funding for kids here in Kansas City. We then sort through it, as you know, put the merchandise out on the floor. We also give coupons as a discount as a way of saying thank you to those folks that bring in those donations to us. And a lot of times those donations are the basis for some really great costumes, um, some really great finds. We get brand new merchandise merchandise with tags on it all the time. Sometimes things you swear maybe if they wore them one time before they brought them in. So it's definitely not the traditional thrift mentality that a lot of people have. We're actually pretty selective with our merchandise and I'm always very proud of the offering that we have here in the store. Okay, great. And you guys have five stores throughout Kansas City, yes. and you guys are expected to open more stores in the near future. Uh, yes, actually, uh, the president of the company will be by here today after lunch, and we're keeping our fingers crossed that hopefully he will be coming out with uh, where the next location in Kansas City may be. Um, we haven't heard yet, but as you know, we are the only one north of the river, so there's plenty of areas for them to expand north of the river, um, maybe on the east side of town, Blue Springs, Lee Summit, um, Zona Rosa, the 
Legends area. So there's quite a few more opportunities here in Kansas City, but it definitely all depends on the, our loyal shoppers that come in and our donors that come in as to how far we can expand in the community. And how many square feet do you guys have here? Oh goodness, including the processing room, I think we're just over 20,000 square feet here for the sales floor and probably another 15 for the processing area. Oh wow! And uh, you guys also have the uh, the sa the Saber uh, thrift store card. Yes. That uh, tell us about that. Well, it's a wonderful um, club card. It's a frequent shopper loyalty program. They get special invites um, to sales the day before. So, for example, this past Labor Day, where we had 50% off all clothing, shoes, and bed and bath. If you're a club card member, you got to come in a day early. So they got to enjoy the savings on Sunday as well as Monday. Also, you get special offers for your birthday and discounts. We have a sale every Tuesday where if you're a club card member, you get 25% off your entire purchase, um, regardless of size. So it could be $20, could be 200 bucks, you get 25% off. There is also whispers of secret discounts for Halloween merchandise. Normally that's never been discounted in the past with savers. And there's rumors that club card members will be getting emails to save themselves even more money on our already low prices for Halloween. Also right now through October 31st, any existing club card member or someone who signs up before Halloween is entered for a contest to win a trip for four to anywhere that we have a savers. Now that includes Canada, Hawaii, and Australia. So uh, absolutely fantastic contest. I can't wait to see who wins and where they end up choosing to go. Oh wow, that, that's exciting. I mean, you got to you get on a program like that with the kind of, I mean, you've already got great prizes here in the store as well. I was looking around, I come in here, I look for my Mizzou gear, my Chiefs gear, my Royals gear, that type of thing. And so I'm going to end up spending a lot of money in this store in the near future. But that's not a bad thing because you're helping big brothers and big sisters. And you guys have a claim, you guys send uh, a lot of stuff to, to underprivileged countries and instead of throwing things in landfills. Tell us more about that. Oh my goodness, yes. In this one store alone, on average, we recycle about 20 two tons every 10 days that we ship up and this is in one store and what we do is we bail those items we recycle everything from obviously clothing um, we do some books we do bed and bath items like belts hats scarves purses shoes hard and soft toys that we then ship to developing nations so that they can get use out of those items again so I mean it's really nice to know that every day when I drive by that Courtney Ridge landfill that I'm helping to keep a significant amount of product out of there every single day well, that's great. So tell people where they can find you here in Liberty and online. Wonderful. We are at the Crossroads Shopping Center on the corner of 291 and 152 Highway, just behind the Mi Hacienda restaurants. You can also go to savers.com for great costume ideas and to locate all of our um, area locations in Kansas City with directions provided as well. Okay, great. Once again, that's Evelyn Workentine from the Savers Thrift Store. They were at 300 South 291 Highway here in Liberty. Now. And you got an Independence location too, right? Yes, we sure do. It's right off of Nolan Road. It's just south of I-70 on Nolan Road. Um, right after uh, Red Lobster, it's in right in the same shopping area as Harbor Freight and Tool. There we go. Okay, great. Yeah, we're, we're big on Independence. Of course, Darren's got a sticker on the back of Stella, the uh, Junk Mafia road crew vehicle that says it's an Independence thing you wouldn't understand. So, you know, he's from that area. So, anyway, but uh, Evelyn, of course, we have a, a tagline on the on the show. Of course, you know it. And uh, so you got to gotta give us a tagline on the show here. Woo, doggy. All right, good job. Thanks for tuning in to the Junk in My Truck Road Show. We'll see you next time. Liberty Savers loves Junk in My Truck. Hi, I'm Robin Hammond from Junkfest Studios. We're located in Shawnee at 6115 Neiman Road. And we're really easy to get to. We're right off of I-35 and Shawnee Mission Parkway. Our hours, Tuesday through Saturday, 12 to 5. And we're also uh, open during class times. And I've got classes available here, both in painting furniture as well as guest instructors that teach acrylics, watercolor, making jewelry, and we've got classes daytime, evening, and weekends. So visit us on our website at junkfeststudios.com and also like us on Facebook. So we also are the proud purveyors of the C.C. Caldwell chalk paint line and that is perfect for painting your furniture. Anybody can do it and I teach classes on how to use that product. So I hope to see you out here.
Hey, this is Ricky with Affordable Tire and Auto Repair. We're located here at 1502 East 24 Highway in Independence, Missouri. Come on by and check us out for new and used tire specials. We're locally owned and operated, so we'll work our best to get the uh, best deal for you and get you back on the road.